everybody. Welcome back. Um, welcome to all my new subscribers. I want to say thank you so much to, um, to you for deciding to join my channel. And of course, thank you for all of you who have been with me, um, you know, for years now. I appreciate it so much. Um, I've got a journal to share with you guys today. It's a, been a long time coming. It's really just taken me a long time to get back into uh, the swing of things, but so this is well overdue. This is a Tracy um, Fox who's Love Junk Journals on Etsy, a design team project for her. Um, the primary kit I used in this is Nature's Epiphany, uh, but I have mixed a lot of her ephemera packs. Just, you know, Tracy's got a huge... Um, collection of digitals so um, but those were the the main papers but let's just get started and I'll show you um, I constructed the cover uh, by using some uh, <clears throat> excuse me cardboard and I've just so that on that and then I built the spine this way and I really like it because it's it's a hidden spine <laughs> um, that I've come up with with and um, I really love how this has come out on the fabric. I don't know, probably others have done it this way. I, I've never noticed it before and I personally have never tried to do a hidden spine on a fabric before but I'm really pleased with how it came out. But on the front you've got so much layering. You've got fabric, laces, cardboard, more lace and then I collaged a backing to one of the frames that she has. Um, it's one of the pages from that kit and then on that she's got these gorgeous um, journal cards and then I've just framed that. Uh, I just love it and then I've named it Echoes in My Heart which I've used that name before in a previous video but a video um, journal but I just think she looks like she's in deep thought. I love that image. Um, so there's the spine and then on the back same process on the back and then I just did some made a little pocket here and added one of the tacks from the kit. So uh, going inside I have um, a sorry silk closure on this one and that's all been tucked behind fabric. So. The front is some of the 49th and Market papers that I've stitched around and then um, this is a different kit in Tracy's shop. Um, I've just had some a few pockets and things left over and I just wanted to, to make use of everything. But aren't these papers beautiful? I really do like that kit. I've worked with it before and um, <clears throat> I thought with some of her newer um, bits of ephemera that that would really um, be a nice base for the journal. So in here I've just made another little um, tag and this is one of the images that comes in in her kit. So that I've just stamped that on there and then here I really really love how this came out. So I was going to do a tutorial on it but to be honest it's so simple I can just show you guys. Um, as I said, these framed pages come, and what I did, I just printed that out two per page. And then I came back, and I didn't have an oval with the exact uh, shape of Tracy's, but it doesn't matter. Um, I think it came out really nice. The only thing I might do the next time would be ink inside before I close it. But, but anyways, let me just show you what I did. So... I cut two of those, made sure that they were even, you know, lined up, ran them through the big shot to cut out that, and then I took some of the uh, acetate I've got on the roll, and this is you can buy this. I'm sure Amazon's got it, but I know I purchased mine off of eBay in the UK, and it's what it is is for. Um, cakes you can wrap around a cake um, so I but any acetate is going to be fine I like this because it's lightweight some of that can be really thick so this is just a perfect weight for um, 
for this kind of project. So then I just cut out some of Tracy's butterflies. And isn't that beautiful? Because I made a little notepad and then the the um, that was a coffee dyed page. And I love how that came out. And that's just peeking through. So I'm really pleased with how that little, it's just a very simple little notebook. But that's why I thought, well, you really don't need a tutorial on it. And then I ran a stitch down it. But whoops, there it goes. Um, so yeah, I really like how that came out. Just something different. Um, I know she's got some of the, um, the the slides in her shop, but I just thought that was something a little bit fun and different to use with this um, these papers from that kit. So okay, so again, this is more of her um, ephemera, and I just made little tabs out of throughout the journal. Edith Holden page that I've made into a pocket. This is another bit of Tracy's uh, ephemera. And then I just took some scraps that I've got and made some little ruffles to go throughout. Um, another image from Tracy's, and then this is the page from that. Um, it's just beautiful. This is an old um, button that I've got clipped on to that um, paper clip there. Just another little journal card. So it's two signatures. I don't know how many pages. That'll be in the description. Or not the description, in the listing, because this will be in my shop. Um, and these are from several of Tracy's kits. Um, and you know, I love her faux ephemera. I <laughs> well, once I get completely organized, I'm going to print out a lot of those because I use those over and over again. And um, here just some more little tags. I love these tags and she's got those in her shop. Aren't they adorable? And then I just, I love these little postage stamps. So I just added those there. Some of the, these are some of the tickets that come in that kit and so I've just added those along that. And that's all been stitched around. That's some craft paper. And you've seen me make this. This is an altered um, Project Life card. So I would describe this as like a vintage nature book um, because it does have a lot of the old images, but then you've got a lot of florals and butterflies in it as well took one of the tickets just to make it a little tab there and then these if I don't know if you guys have probably figured it out that is an envelope that I turn upside down I just take the very edge off and then I run a stitch down the center so you've got a pocket here and a pocket in here so that's another way you guys can use envelopes you know I'm always uh, I'm fascinated with ways to um, <clears throat> to make use of envelopes because they're so inexpensive and they make great great pockets in our journals so that's another little um, tip if you're looking for another way did some stamping um, these are tea dyed and I've got some coffee dyed in here as well and then here, I've just got a little flip out. This was just scraps, and I just layered them, so that's got a nice texture to that. And then this little tag's tucked in here, and then I've got another pocket behind here, and then one of the uh, stitch slots that's just full of various bits of ephemera from Tracy's shop. And that's a beautiful page. And then here, another little tag tucked in there. And then this is um, another kit she's got with all of the little <coughs> quotes and definitions. And I think that's just so nice to add to projects. So I'm starting to get organized in <coughs> my uh, file folder. I'm trying to get it all um, divided up with things that are good for making ephemera, keeping that separate from my journal cards. So it's just a long, drawn-out process, but little by little I'm getting there. Um, here's some more bits from her kits, and then I made a big pocket here so you can add some things to that. 
another of the tickets that comes from her. And then here I've just got, uh, this is one of the Anna Griffin um, pockets that I've cut out. So yeah, I really like uh, how this, this came out. And here's another. These are new to Tracy's shop, or fairly new for me. Um, and I love these. These remind me of Tim Holtz uh, style. And they're all little journal cards, so those are beautiful. And then these are new to her shop, and they're, they're just like a, a must-have because I've used those so many times already. Um, it's a sheet full of these little labels, but they've all got numbers on them, which is so nice to have. And then here, I just had this left over. These are her tea cards, but I've just cut it down so that it's kind of like a... Um, oh, gosh, my brain. Well, a tag, but that's not the word. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Honestly... It'll come to me after the video is over. You're probably all sitting there screaming at, at me. Um, here, the, oh, this is another thing she's had in her shop. I think for a little while she's got um, sheets with all these quotes, which I love. Anything like that I could get my hands on, i jump at it because um, I love to have those things throughout journals. And this is another of the page from that kit. Beautiful. That's the center of the uh, second signature. And then here, um, again, these are new to the shop, um, or new for me. I haven't worked with these before, and I had to just tweak it slightly for myself because I love the butterfly, so I've made that as like it's, like it's a butterfly slide. That's not how they're meant to be, but I always have to do my own thing. <laughs> I hope Tracy doesn't mind. And I love these cards. And when I finally get around, I want to do myself a um, herbal holistic journal. And I've purchased um, Liz, Mrs. Cog's course, and I still have not had time to do it. But these are going to go beautifully with that, um, that kit. So I'm excited to get started with that. I don't know when I will, but live in hope. You guys know I've got about five journals that planned for myself, and I just never get around to it. So here I've just tucked a little journal card in that um, envelope, and it just peeks through. Um, and then this is another one of the tags from the kit. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, B is beautiful. And another... Um, she has this set of journal cards in the shop, and these are beautiful images as well. Um, again, this is a Tracy tag. I love that. So there's a lot of writing space, but I still think I've, I've got quite a few uh, pockets and tuck spots and things. And as I said, all of these are Tracy's here. Um, there might be a few things from my stash, but I would say 98% of the journal here is um, from Tracy's shop because she's just got so many designs. And this is part of the um, Nature's, um, Nature's Epiphany, that's it. <coughs> So I've just tucked those in there. And then on the very back, I've created a pocket back here and then a, a pocket here. And I've just double, you know, this has been printed on both sides, so there's no white showing. So, <clears throat> And then, as I said, on the back, I've just got another little pocket here so you can add some things. I really, really like how this has come out. I love the... Um, the layers with it, and I really like how the spine has come out where, where you don't have to see the signature sewn into that. And it's a pretty chunky. Um, this one measures... Let me get my... It's about uh, five by seven and a half. 
and then it's got about a two inch spine on there to accommodate those two signatures so she's pretty pretty full so there it is this is my design team project for Tracy Tracy thank you so much for uh, your patience with me on this I, I am sorry it's been so long since I've done anything but I'm going to get back into it and um, so thank you guys all so much for, for stopping by today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions, just ask, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you all have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.